Angelina Jolie reveals that she had a double mastectomy by choice to prevent the breast cancer that killed her mom. It involved three months of surgical procedures starting in February, ending in April. She wrote such a moving op-ed in the New York Times. It's a, it is a huge story about one of the most photographed and followed women in the world. And understandably, she kept it all a total secret until she was ready to reveal it. And her decision to share this could help save a lot of lives. ABC's Paula Ferris joins us with all the details this morning. Good morning, Paula. Good morning, Robin. Very few people knew until this morning. The Oscar winner is 37, a mother of six, and says she did this for her children, telling her story overnight under the headline, My Medical Choice. Jolie's difficult battle over this decision started in February of this year, she writes in the New York Times overnight. My doctors estimated that I had an 87% risk of breast cancer. Once I knew that this was my reality, I decided to be proactive and to minimize the risk as much as I could. I made a decision to have a preventative double mastectomy. Cancer took the life of her own beloved mother at only 56. Jolie shared the difficulty of explaining that to her six children. She held out long enough to meet the first of her grandchildren and to hold them in her arms. But my other children will never have the chance to know her. We often speak of mommy's mommy and I find myself trying to explain the illness that took her away from us. They have asked if the same could happen to me. The decision to have a mastectomy was not easy, but it is one I am very happy that I made. I can tell my children that they don't need to fear they will lose me to breast cancer. Jolie underwent the medical procedure starting in February and completing the process on April 27th with her partner Brad Pitt by her side, calling him loving and supportive and a very important part of the transition. We managed to find moments to laugh together. We knew this was the right thing to do for our family and that it would bring us closer, and it has. On a personal note, I do not feel any less of a woman. I feel empowered that I made a strong choice that in no way diminishes my femininity. Jolie chose to share her story now, wanting more women to get tested and know their options. Now hoping other women can benefit from my experience. Life comes with many challenges. The ones that should not scare us are the ones we can take on and take control of. Now, her chances of developing breast cancer decreased to 5% from 87. She did have reconstructive surgery as well, and Wright said her partner, Brad Pitt, was by her side every minute of those surgeries, Robin. And she said they've never been closer. Paula, mm -hmm. thank you. For more on this, let's bring in ABC News senior medical contributor, Dr. Jennifer Ashton. I know you were stunned like many of us when we picked up the paper this yep. morning. We read her op-ed. Very emotional decision. And the testing itself, I know that some people have to have counseling to be able to handle the, right. the outcome. Exactly. Tell us a little bit more about the it, actual it's testing. It's a simple blood test, Robin, available at m many doctors' offices, clinics, hospitals. Oftentimes, as you said, it does go hand in hand with genetic consultation so that someone can really understand not just their personal risk, but the risk that exists in their family. And depending on the outcome, there are many options, not just the one that Angelina Jolie took. That's correct. So she chose to have preventive surgery, which has been conclusively shown to not only reduce the risk, but likely convey some survival benefit as well. But not every woman chooses surgery. So surveillance, which is just a high-tech form of screening, while it does not drop the risk, it does increase the rate at which that mm -hmm. cancer is detected. And then for some women, medication to lower the risk also. Right, but for 87% of less than 5% for That's her correct. Is, is outstanding. Okay, let's talk about cost here. Uh, she doesn't. She right. doesn't have to worry about it. But I mean, the BRCA test is three thousand dollars. Correct, and, and sometimes insurance covers that. Sometimes it doesn't. Now reconstruction. There's finally some good news here, Robin. That you know, sometimes this type of breast reconstruction can cost as much as fifty thousand dollars, and sometimes the surgeon does not accept insurance, so the patient will be responsible for that. But good news, since 1998, Congress actually passed a bill requiring women without insurance to be offered reconstructive options. It's critically important. Women need to ask their surgeon about their options. And you're going to provide more information for us? Absolutely, on goodmorningamerica.com on Yahoo, and men need to know about this also. That's right, it can happen to them yep. too. All right, Jim, thanks very much.